Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Scorpio for the month of May. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If uh, if it doesn't sound like your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there, but if not, then simply check back with me in the following week when I put out new messages for your sign. Okay, so what we have here is a situation where somebody, we have a couple, but um, they may not be talking. Um, <laughs> and here, here's the king, okay? Look at him. He's pretending that everything's just fine, you know? Uh, this is very like a, a playful joker kind of energy, okay? So, <clears throat> but he's hiding something. And what is he hiding? He's hiding his feelings. He's actually um, very, very emotional here, not feeling grounded. He's feeling very, very insecure. His world is out of balance, but he's hiding it by pretending this type of energy here that, oh, I'm fine. Everything's just fine. I'm happy. Yeah. <clears throat> so, and here she is. This is the other half. Here she is, and she's upset with his behavior. And um, intuitively, she knows he's hiding more than he's letting on, right? Um, they're not talking, but, and maybe he's giving her the cold shoulder, um, but she knows he's hiding his true feelings here, okay? She knows that this is not over. She knows they are not yet done. So she, both of these characters are very stubborn. So she most likely is uh, waiting for this person and this person is holding back uh, here, maybe even deceiving himself, you know, um, pretending that all is just fine. But he's actually, and this energy continues here, he feels trapped in this, um, in his mind, in his emotions, um, with this Nine of Cups reverse, it's like uh, somebody who's feeling uh, really unhappy with their world, the way things are, although to everyone else they pretend that all is fine. It's that woe is me type of energy. And so they feel trapped here. Maybe this is because of uh, a wish that was never received. There's an emptiness or an empty place in this, uh, in this person. Yeah. And so they're in a, like a, a pause reflection, uh, phase and they may have been here for quite some time uh, thinking thinking about a healing thinking about the intense feelings they have towards someone um, this intense longing um, for a new beginning but struggle with the decision to take that or, or to extend that um, because they don't have all the answers, because they're waiting on a certain specific uh, understanding, um, on some type of illumination. Um, they could be, because they don't see, uh, they, they might feel like everything is against this, that, that, um, that maybe um they've been already hit by several lights of strike uh, 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 lightning strikes every time they try to move forward with this mm. 
so they they, they could feel like uh, the ship is sinking, a trapped, like there's no way out. And it's like, woe is me. And now I, I want to keep that card out. And so they struggle. They struggle with it. They're going deep. They're trying to find uh, what, um, what disturbs them, what's causing the disturbance within them. This is about a very deep connection um, or um, a decision, someone from the past. It, it could very possibly be that you guys are soulmates. There's a very strong connection and there's an overall sense of it feeling not over, not complete. Um, there is the return of the past. Um, this person could be overwhelmed with memories from the past or of someone from the past. This could have been on again, off again, especially with the lightning strikes we see here. Um, it could be that someone turned down an offer It could be that the queen over here, she, she's repeating here. It could be that she wants the offer, but it's not coming. All right, so here's what's going to happen. This person down here, this king, he's on an emotional roller coaster. We've got that six of swords up here. Indecision or uh, avoidance. Um, the dragon on this card speaks to um, hidden emotional issues that are affecting the decision to have this new beginning. Okay, of the ace of coins. Two of Cups, Ten of Coins. Um, it, it causes a loss of confidence in or with regards to making this decision. The, the journey uh, or this journey could involve a uh, a change of outlook or yeah a change of outlook you may have to go it's like it could be an in, internal journey that that someone has to make here and it can be difficult i see the moon reverse here so uh, a lot of deep emotions that will surface or hidden emotions or emotions that were tucked away you know so, okay, what's going to happen is the, um, the universe is going to step in, in here on both of your behalves. And um, this is unexpected movement and the universe is just, these two people aren't talking. They're not talking. Um, they both want. <laughs> They're not talking. Boom. Universe throws them together. They will have no choice but to talk. So the universe throws them together. There's, there's a discussion. Um, it is a good thing. I mean, it's a really good thing uh, the universe is doing here. It brings the sun. It brings back, is, is going to restore the peace and the harmony between these two people. It's going to force them to talk this out. The universe is taking action here. The universe 
is stepping in to transform this situation. The situation of the connection of the of the lovers. I, I, I just get like the universe just takes the decision for you. You know? And it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter how many times you hit brick walls or how many times the lightning has struck. It doesn't matter. You want to know why? Because the universe has your back. Okay, and the universe has brought you together. And the universe brings to the both of you a commitment, a chance for a commitment, a chance to do it right. It's like a restoration of faith, of belief. It's two hands holding the coin, not one, two. Both believing in the same thing. So there's clarity that is going to be brought in. It's not because you cannot see a light, the light, that it isn't there. Sometimes you have to, you know, take a few steps in to see it. So this is about um, making a choice. And we also have the spark. I just saw that we have the mountain. That is a very good card to have too. Um, it is about uh, uh, going with the flow. And, and it's what you need to do. Why, why keep chipping at that mountain with your chisel? Why not just go with the flow, follow the water, and go with the flow around the mountain? In this, uh, between these two people, you, uh, because you've received this card, we know there's a very high, intense attraction uh, between these two people. And uh, it has, this card is about turning uh, a spark, like a renewed interest, into a flame. But somebody needs to make a choice. Someone will be faced with a dilemma or a fork in the road and must make a conscious choice regarding the next right action. And whatever the choice is, they must take responsibility for it. But Spirit says, do not be afraid because you may not have all the answers right now, which is what I was saying. You don't have all of the answers right now because the way ahead cannot be seen. It cannot be seen until you've embarked and traveled a few steps. Trust your intuition. Ask for a sign from spirit and you will be led to the right path. You know, if this person is, is unhappy with their life, you know, whether this is you or them, because these energies can be vice versa, you know, then, then change it. You have that choice. You have that power. You have free will. You don't have to stay in an energy where you are unhappy. No, you don't have all the answers, but you will be shown the way. Trust in spirit. Ask for a sign and you will be led forward. 
I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has um, so generously sent in a donation to the channel. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to you.